say. Sorry. Heard it here first. My question is for Christopher. Okay. I know you play a lot of characters, Yami, uh, Vegeta, all that, half of Dragon Ball. Uh, my question was, what is your easiest, what was your, like, favorite, um, voice to do? Uh, the voice, is my favorite voice of all time was Yamcha in Dragon Ball Z. And it's because, I know you're all like, uh, does Yamcha? Uh, it's because he's really funny and he doesn't hurt my voice at all. And he never has to scream and he dies all the time. So, <laughs> so I don't have to worry about it. The Yamcha on the, the pit? Yeah, I celebrated my table just Yamcha dead. Because, <laughs> why not? Bandai at one point sold a dead Yamcha action figure. I think they have a pop too, but like they had a, a perfectly rendered action figure. If you put it in the middle of like a peach pie, it looked just like he did in the movie when he died. So it's pretty fun. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, you disappeared. There you are. Thank you. Go ahead. Hi. Sorry. And it's not here, I can't like characters fight any supervillains or any universe, but they fight. I feel like the answer weeping angels. Deep track. Uh Lex Luthor, uh because he's just a a rich corporate dude and then you want to just Superman can't because he has righteousness on his side, but then he would just be like, shh, alright. <laughs> I say we go big or we go home, and if we're all together as a school with all the pro heroes, we're taking on Thanos. Damn. <laughs> oh, yeah. I think we're taking on Thanos. Yeah, I like that. I second that. But would Deku get you know, snapped and we'd have the... What's all this right now? No. no one knows Jenkins, I think. Jenkins. Mr. Mr. Jenkins, I don't feel good. <laughs> oh. <laughs> no, that's my worst nightmare. I can't even read the manga because I'm afraid he's going to die in the next episode, so. Uh, is, is the teacher, is that Aoyama? Is that his name? Aizawa, thank you. Sorry, I'm mad. It's been a minute. Uh, I, would love, I would love to see Aizawa as like, a detective who has to bring down the Joker. Ooh. And he's just so tired. <laughs> I think it established that Aizawa is basically the Batman of uh, my hero. Right? Yeah. Maybe the All Might versus the Hulk, I guess, would be kind of fun. <laughs> but they're just, they just hang out and go, oh, we kind of have the same thing, right? Except you get angry. I get happier. <laughs> Watch all of these guys like do what they do and do it so well. So I really am 
My favorite episode is that one where I talk a bunch. I'm in like multiple scenes, it's great. Uh, I liked I liked All Might versus All for One. It's like episode 50 something. And like, it's rare for a show for me to be on episode 50 and that's where I start crying. Like, normally I'm like, okay, wrap it up. But uh, this one stayed good. Yeah. Ditto to what Austin said. Um, my favorite episodes are the ones where I actually get to be in it. <laughs> Uh, I like the school festival when they put on the, the rock and roll show. I uh, still love the sports festival, Dr. Bruce Todoroki. That's like some of the best animation. It's good, I meant some of that, it's good. I still actually like the earliest episodes where it's All Might and Midoriya kind of meeting one another. I just think it's great, excellent intro to the series if you haven't seen it. It's really good. You should try it out. There's a surprise though. <laughs> Truth bomb, I've only really seen my episodes when Fat Gum is actually like really excited. So when Fat Gum turns into Fit Gum. I was telling Kyle earlier, it was like my favorite. I love all the scenes that all my fat gum have together. It's right. like, really fun. Seriously. Name one. <laughs> all right, next question. Hi, I'm Raper. My question is for everyone, and it's knowing what you know about the Hero Commission and how rough they are, would you be a hero, vigilante, or a villain? I know almost nothing about vigilantes, but I'm going to say that. And hope I'm not stepping on a lamp. Uh, I like the concept art of Deki, and I guess I'll try and step around a spoiler. Uh, everyone, does anyone know about the Deki trailer theory? I was excited at the idea of him actually being a bad guy. Um, so, villain. I always want to voice villains. I think that Sunny would make an amazing villain, but I think she's too sweet. So I feel like what Sunny would do is go with the pro hero and just try to fix all the corruption from the inside. She's a, she's a good little girl, that's what she does. Yeah. If it were me, I'd be a villain, but if we're talking about Monoma, I think he would actually stay a hero because he just so desperately wants that title. Though I really did want him to go like full on. Uh, 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 who's the blonde guy from the Drake Park? Draco, full, I wanted to pull a full Draco, but he didn't. I want All Might to be a villain. So don't, don't be upset. It's fine. He's not. He's not a villain. He's a good guy. But I think it'd be really funny if he, like, as a villain, he would just, he still had his power, but he would just give it to people without actually asking them first, and they just, like, they just <laughs> It's like, oops, I guess I'm taking that back. <laughs> he's like shoving hair down his mouth. He just walks up to people like, have my power. And then they go, oh, and they go, whoops. <laughs> he just walks around giving his full strength to people. He works at a subway and just sneaks in. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. For any fast food restaurant, really. I don't know, back end is a villain. That's just, that's just an opportunity for comedy. He already has the comedy thing going for him, but... Yeah, I also agree that seeing Nigeria is a villain would be hilarious. Right. I mean, well, also, she's the last person you would ever expect to actually be a villain. So, I like that. It's all villains. Yeah, everyone's... Villains are fun. Right? We're gonna have to fight all of them. That's right. <laughs> Will you at least be on our side with Jill Pansy? Yeah, I'll wait for them to fall asleep and then I'll... Yeah! <laughs> Stab up. That's yeah. Not, that's not very plus ultra of you, I go visual Lancy? <laughs> we don't go plus ultra, we go harder. <laughs> <laughs> My superpowers are stabbing blenders. <laughs> <laughs> My superpower is patience. Yeah. <laughs> Either before or after you joined the cast, do you guys have 
have you guys ever read the manga or know anything about it? And if so, how much? I've read it all. Uh, I'm happy to report nothing bad is happening. <laughs> Don't give her away. <laughs>
any other like character like in my character game, like not switch like a line, but like switch roles with another my character game character, what character would that be? Toga! <laughs> so you You took my answer. But there was a 50-50 shot. I was almost Minetta. And she's like, I know that both of you are going to be in the show, but I don't know which one of you is going to be Veneta and which one's going to be Frappy, and I won. <laughs> Did y'all play rock, paper, scissors? No, I don't. I guess Colleen went away to think about it and came back and made her decision. But she told both of us at Funimation, we're both like, what do we do with that information? <laughs> like, I can't imagine you not being Frappy. Like, you, the well, thank you. It's just, yeah. Kiss. When I auditioned for the show, I auditioned for uh, Bakugo, Shigaraki, Genki, and Aoyama. And Colleen originally cast me as Bakugo. And I said, nah, I feel more kinship with Genki. Uh, so, smart move. I, I want to be like, uh, I'm sure sure. Dabi or Shigaraki, because that seems like a pretty sweet game. A lot of hands. Any villain from my hero movie? Oh, no. <laughs> and as a normal person? I wouldn't want to fight because, you. But the answer is no thank you. <laughs> yeah, because there is that, like, even the people that don't have a power that's related to strength still, like, receive a, a large amount of pain and, like, physical damage that they seem to be able to do. Everybody seems to have a baseline of the person. Get this panel next. You want to hang around for that? So. <laughs> well, I, I feel like I can take on overhaul now. action stuff as well and you kind of have to look like the character you're playing <laughs> otherwise you're not going to get cast as that character but um, your voiceover it doesn't matter and it also doesn't matter what you wear when you're recording i've recorded many times in my pajamas and it's wonderful <laughs> i totally think it's not a good way to go <laughs> well yeah when we were like recording from home a lot of us yeah no, because also you get hot and you're a little like cold boots and it gets really hot during the pandemic, there was lots of like, oh, I have a session in one minute, and rolling out of bed and running downstairs. That was that, you know, that was all of us for sure. I think we can all agree that the worst part is taxes. That is so true. <laughs> <laughs> it is complicated. Tax. I think it sucks that there's the, the consistency comes and goes. It's like sometimes you work a lot and then there's nothing. And then it's not based on how long you've been in the industry or what you've worked on. There's like, there's no momentum it feels like. It's just like, I've been doing this for 22 years and I still don't make most of the things I audition for. Which is true in voice acting. You try out for a hundred things, you might get one or two, maybe. And it's tough. You have to really thick skin and just really want to keep doing it. But boy, that victory feels good once you get cast on something. It's like, it makes it all worth it somehow. It's all about a mindset, of course, but Hate auditioning. Right? Hate auditioning. Cold casting, come on! Just give it to me! Do you know, last week I got an audition and it said, looking for a Chris Sabbath type. And so I asked this to my agent and I go, can you just say that I'd be happy to do it? And he said, well, could he read for it? I'm like, come on! No, it's literally happened to me before where I've had an audition come through and it's uh, like, oh, we want the voice to sound similar to, and it's a character that I voiced, and I auditioned and I did not get the part. <laughs> Good enough at sounding like myself. This be our final question right here. Um, my name is Sam, and my question's for Justin. Whatever happened to uh, Deku's notebooks on all the heroes' weaknesses? Uh, he's working on digitizing them. Uh, <laughs> 
mean, we have, he's our private uh, server where all this is archived. It got too big for the notebooks. He just he's full of information and, and knowledge and, uh, and more. Before we go, yes. uh, I want to do something real quick. Sure. It's one of my TikToks. He's using everyone in this yeah, room. I am. Yeah, yeah. You should all monetize this with them. Yeah, that's right. Alright, so we're, we're here on the Salt Lake NX panel. Okay, I'm gonna say three, two, one, go. And on go, I want you all to crack your knuckles at the same time. Okay, it's great. Okay, ready? Three, two, one. Thank you. Trigger warning. <laughs> We've never ended a panel on that. And that was amazing. I have never started a panel with my butt to the audience either, so this is a brand new panel. I love it. Thank you to hear you right now. One more time, give a huge round of applause.